Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a great day in my world again. Nightlight sent me a couple kits for my bike. So uh, let's get this unboxed, see what I have to work with, and let's get this bike apart. So let's see what's in this kit. Nice little remote on and off. Chart with all of the remote functions. And lots of wires. A whole lot of wires. This should reach you everywhere I need to go. I have two kits because I have two sides of the bike and I'm thinking I might want to go with two different colors. Soon I am going to have to replace these deflectors. They're not on there very well. Hopefully there's not too much pressure behind this. All I've got to do is push up on that. Get this to pull down. And not too bad. Not too bad. A little bit of gas, but not much. This gas line here. Yeah, I'm going to unhook it right here. Versus trying to fish this one all the way through because it's making a couple bends. And of course, there is a full tank of gas in here. I wouldn't have it any other way. I have two pair of glasses I use. My regular walking around glasses and my cheater glasses brings everything up close so I can see everything. Let's see if this will power up. Yep, and they are all green. That's not the color I want. Okay, you got to hold the button down a little bit longer. Orange is probably where I'm going to be going with. So that's not too bad. It's not 3M, but it seems pretty good sticky I guess I'm going to put this one a little bit of an angle, try to keep it as flat as possible. It's going to be a lot of heat here, so I'll find out real fast how this is going to work out.
This tape seems to work pretty good. Forgot to push record. Clean this up the best I could. I stuck it all on there. I did put some hot glue on there just to help uh, hold it together because, yeah, I'm just not so sure about that tape because of the heat. And how do you get this tape to release? Heat. The tank stops about right here. That'll work out nice. Yeah, this is going to have a hard time sticking here. Just a little bit off there because the airline has gone through a little part of the frame in there. Okay, I did the best I could with my cable management, which isn't too bad. I used some hot glue just to hold it in place. The on-off buttons I put up in here, so it's behind this panel, so I don't see it going down the road. And when I stand up, I can't see if them are on, because these are going to be attached right to the battery. I have two separate harnesses here, front and back. And now I just want to hook this up to the brake light. Okay, this whole time I've been doing the wiring, I've been using a separate battery. So I'm going to pull a main fuse to this bike so I can wire this up without creating problems. So to hook up the positive and negative, Nylite sent me these connections and I am not happy or I do not like these connections. 
So I'm going with these connections. They're just a little heavier duty and I know they're gonna be on there. Starting fresh. Yes, the lights were still on. They have a separate fuse, I'm not too concerned with that. I'm gonna turn them off before I plug the main fuse in though. Okay, now the next thing I have to do is I'm gonna be hooking up the brake light. So these, the separate harness, the ones in the back, they're gonna go from orange to red when I stop. So now I have to figure out which one is the brake light. And I am gonna be using a Scotch block is what I call it. And I do not wanna go into the main harness. I wanna go into the tail light harness. So I'm gonna to have to cut this back a bit and uh, figure out which one it is. So with the bike on, I'm just gonna use my small test light, make sure I got power. Yeah, that works. And I'm gonna hit the brake light. Figure out which one it is. Hit the brake light, hit the brake. So that is this wire right here. Double check it again. Okay. This is what I'm gonna be using. I don't know if you can see that. There's a blade in there with two notches. And I'm just gonna put the wires in there, line them up and squeeze this together. So I got the main wire that crosses through. There's a stop on the other side for this. Before I get too carried away, turn it all back on. And they work. Simple as that. That is nice, really nice. Super nice. 
Okay, now two different kits and two different remotes. It gets a little confusing, but there's a lot of different things I can do with this. That'll get you a ticket going down the road. Well, this project is done. It took me two days to do this. I was cleaning a bike as I was going because I got caught in a rainstorm and I never got it cleaned up. And uh, it took me a while to figure out where I wanted the lights. The cable management was uh, a little tough trying to figure out where to run everything. And I moved a couple wires here and there, shortened them up, lengthened them out. But I got it all to work and uh, balled up, I guess. There's no other way to it. it all Everything in this panel. but. When you pull this panel off, all the wires come off, everything comes disconnected. You couple zip ties and it's off, out of the way for a mechanic if it have to go to the Harley dealer show. So with all of that said, I'd really like to see what this looks like at night. I gotta put my tools away, get my clothes changed and go for a ride. So uh, let's go. So after going for a ride tonight, which is a beautiful night, 77 degrees out there and a little buggy, but that's okay. So I don't know if I'm going to stick with the orange. I kind of like the red a little bit too, but I also like the brake lights. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but we'll uh, see you here in the future. Any comments or suggestions down below would be greatly appreciated. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Everybody have a good evening. We'll see you on the next one.